Hey guys, just a quick update to my MIT challenge, which is to learn MIT's four-year computer science curriculum in 12 months without taking any classes or even being enrolled at MIT. So this week was Physics 2, Electricity and Magnetism. As you can see, I've written all the topics on my board here, so there's quite a bit to cover and I didn't feel prepared writing the exam on Friday, so I'm planning on taking an extra day and I'm going to be writing the exam uh, Monday afternoon, so tomorrow afternoon. And this is a really interesting class, even though it's fairly deep and fairly difficult to digest in just a week, the class is very interesting. So it's talking about really the physics principles like Maxwell's equations and magnetism and electricity, but how it links to everyday things. And Professor Walter Lewin delivers the lectures and he brings in a lot of apparatuses to do really great experiments to show you how these principles actually work. So you can think of things like how do metal detectors work? Uh, why is the sky blue? Why are rainbows always in the same pattern? These are the kind of things that you'll learn and you'll learn not just in a very superficial way, a very superficial explanation, but they actually deeply explain all the math, all the quantitative stuff. So if you wanted to understand something at a deeper level, then this class is a perfect way to do it. So um, I'm planning on doing uh, a bit of a change up in how I'm running the MIT challenge. So in the past, I've been doing courses serially. So I would do one and then write the exam and then do another and write the exam. And I did that for the first three and after I finish electricity and magnetism, it'll be four classes that I've done in that format. But I'm planning on doing a bit of a switch to do them in parallel. So I'll be doing four classes, but at the same time, but instead of over a week, do it over a month. So this is closer to how a semester system actually works in university. Uh, the reason that I'm doing it in this way, I'm doing four classes over a month instead of doing, let's say, you know, eight classes over a semester or just one class per week is because I want to have enough time so that I can get a little bit more flexibility. One of the problems I've been having is that when you try to learn something in such a short time frame, if you get stuck at all, there isn't really a lot of time to figure out a solution or a workaround. So if I'm missing something, then there isn't time to, let's say, buy a better textbook or find a tutor or do something like that. Whereas if I do something over a month's period of time, if I get stuck in one area, I can focus on another course and then go back to it later when I have time and have a little bit larger amount of time in order to deal with those things. The other reason that I'm doing it is because there is a well-documented finding in psychology that space repetition really improves learning. Now, space repetition is the idea that if you spread out learning over a period of time, or rather you're exposed to the idea over a period of time rather than a short period of time, you'll be more likely to remember those ideas and use them later. So that's something that I haven't been taking advantage of fully because I've been learning it over a shorter period of time, which I haven't experienced it yet, but it might mean that a year from now, I might not be quite as strong with those ideas that I learned in a week versus ideas that I learned over a month. So I'm hopefully going to try that out and try out this different format of doing it through parallel so that I might be able to get a bit more flexibility and I might also be able to get the benefits of space repetition. Now I'm still trying to do it at the same pace, so I'm going to be doing four classes over about four and a half weeks. So it's about the same pace as one class per week. The classes I'm planning on starting are Introduction to Electrical Engineering and Computer Science, which is the first actual computer science class that I'm doing in this program. Um, Principles of Chemistry, which is an introductory chemistry course. Um, Principles of Biology, which is an introductory biology course. And then I'm going to be doing differentials, Differential Equations, which is the follow-up to the second level of multivariable calculus, which extends those ideas even further. So uh, I'm going to be starting all those things hopefully on Tuesday. Uh, wish me luck, and I'll see you guys next week.